gonna be good, you guys. So, guess what? Alright? It just turned 2021. Do you know what that means? It's a new year! Wow! <laughs> I hope you're as excited as I am. So, um, one thing I did differently tonight. Okay, so for you guys that don't know me, okay? My name is Artist Nicole. I own Artful Nights Made. And my rules are absolutely simple. You guys eat, you drink, you paint, you have an absolutely incredible, fabulous time. And that's it. Tonight we are painting this super cool winter bear. Let me see if I can get that closer. All right. Now, you guys are going to have to bear with me tonight. Get it? Bear with me. <laughs> because I just bought a new computer so that I could get these videos a little clearer. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm working with it. Um... So, my other thing that I like to tell everybody, it looks like I'm a little small in here on my end, but that's all right, that's all right, that's all right with that, we'll make it happen. I hope it's looking clearer on your end. Can you see? Oh, oh, wait, here we go. Ooh. Right? Right? <laughs> so, my other rule is this, okay? And that is that art is what makes your heart happy. There is no right or wrong. I don't get into this big, happy, crazy spiel about all these things you got to buy and your paintbrushes and your bop, 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 bop. Heck with that. You know what? What's going to happen is the more you paint, the more you're going to decide. Because everybody's touch is different. Everybody's touch is different. I write different than you. You write different than your mom. Okay, so we're going to say, I keep these classes very basic. When you become Picasso, you will know what brushes work for you. All right, but for now, you just bear with it and you enjoy. We got three size brushes, all right, you little whippersnappers. What we're going to do, I always find that if you can, uh, yeah, small, medium, and large. The biggest, most important brush for me is the detail brush, okay? Detail brush is important because I feel like that's the one where you get the nitty gritty in, all right? But watch this. We got the big one. We got the medium one. Woo! -hoo! And then you've got the little one, the detail brush. That's it, you guys. We're going to stick with those. Life is going to be good. Don't you worry. I'm going to walk you through this whole damn thing. And guess what? Grab your wine because it's time to paint. <laughs> All right. So I'm on fire tonight, you guys, because I've been ticked up for a week because of the fact that I hurt my back. So you know what that means. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better. So I'm hyperactive tonight, but that's good. That's good. All right. So first thing I'm going to do. Okay, and the other thing for all you guys who are joining me the first time, there's no right or wrong when it comes to painting. Truly, life, is, art is what makes your heart happy. Okay, as long as you love it, you are going to slap that sucker on the wall. You're going to do it. I've been doing this for six years. I'm going to walk you through this like nobody's business, okay? So, again, tonight we're painting the super awesome Went to bed. Good. Good. <laughs> I'm getting used to my new computer. I never have anxiety. I never have stress. However, let me tell you what. When it comes to technology, right over my head. All right. So, what we're going to do first, I'm going to have you guys pour your paints, okay? So, we got green paint. And for green paint, just pour whatever green you got. You're going to use about, we're going to start off with, yeah, about a teaspoon of green paint. All right, I'm going to show you this with my new pewter. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's so clear and crisp. All right. Now to that green, never mind, we're not doing that yet. So you're going to do about a teaspoon of green. You're going to do about a teaspoon of brown. Okay, half a teaspoon of brown. And for those of you guys who are joining me the first time, I love the Irish music. I've even got caught, though, 
because it's not the Facebook police this time. It's the uh, YouTube police. <laughs> you guys are going to do about a of yellow, which means about a quarter of a teaspoon of yellow. You guys are going to, for now, you're going to do about a teaspoon of white, half a teaspoon of white. Because we're going to add more to it later. And then you are going to do about half a teaspoon of black. And you guys are going to add a little <coughs> of blue. Just a tiny little <coughs> of blue. All right? Now let me show you what this looks like. Okay? Look at that. We got green. We got blue. We got black. We got white. Nikki White Fight Fight. Got a little yellow. Got some brown. Most of the color that we that we're gonna need for this though is is the green. I gotta turn down my Irish because it's getting me distracted. I'm driven to distraction. Hold on. God, I love the Irish. Hum a lumma now. I'm hanging on a hole. <laughs> All right, let's see who's on here so I can see what's Cindy Bailey. A girl to you, you little whippersnapper. Hello, Sharon Viola Morton, Michelle Mann from New York. Hey, honey, New York. Woo, you big apple. Kelly Staples and Eric. Hi, guys. Mwah to you. Anita Robinson. Cook, cook, chew, you sexy beast. Jessica Pierce. Hi, honey. Nancy Hogue. Jose Bor hmm, Borges. Hello, Jose. Ruth Clinton from Puerto Rico. You're my first Puerto Rico. <laughs> How are you, honey? I love it. Patricia Poisson, happy 2021 to you, sweet love. Looks pretty clear. God, it was a good purchase then. Sherry Milbourne, great to see you, honey. Happy New Year. Melissa Kelly, ooh, 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 I like that. I need it. Looks much better. I'm loving it. God, you guys, apparently I needed a computer upgrade. Wicked clear. Yeah! Woo! Don't mind me. I'm going to do the happy dance. Because <laughs> I impulsively purchased a new computer and it worked. <laughs> Victory is mine! <laughs> Lisa Marie Plasman. Hi there. Are you energetic? Well, that's a good question. Nah. <laughs> I think you aren't you energetic. Oh, from Illinois. Hi, honey. Lynn Carey, Tara Sheely, first time ever, awesome. Susan Gakowski, Sheila Wardell, yay, I got a bunch of first timers. Trisha Moore, Maureen Gokala, picture is pixelating. Oh, Lori Dawson, okay, I'm not going to call you a fuck. I think it's frock. Maureen Dawson, frock. I love it. <laughs> No fuck for you. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, Trisha Moreland. Hi, sweetie. Barbara Recal Barker from Winnipeg, Canada. Hi, honey. Okay, this right here is a scam. So get right off that. We're going to hide that. You guys want to report those scammers for me? You go for it. All right. This is where, Kelly, you come in, honey. Report and delete all those scammers. Okay, sweet bug? Because you are so good at that. Michigan, Ontario, Canada, Tara Seeley, Audrey Young, Jeanette Longo, Massachusetts, Peggy Simmons, Thunder Bay, Canada. I love it. Terry M. Bonnie, Bobby Joe Broomshire. You're going to be missing me tonight. That's all right, sweetie. Okay. So this is a deal, you guys. If you miss tonight's show, okay, all you're going to do is you're going to grab all your peeps. And you're going to go on to my page, Artful Nights Maine. Here we go. Titty, titty. Artful Nights Maine. You're going to get this show from, because uh, I'm going to leave it up there for a week. If you don't get it in a week, then I move it to my YouTube channel, which is Artful Nights Maine with artist Nicole White. All you got to do is go on YouTube. You can get this one and a bunch of the other ones. They never leave it. Okay, so don't worry about missing tonight. Jessica Pratt, Deb Jeffrey from Massachusetts, Brandy Marchetti from Ellsworth, Diane Bird from Georgia, Jose Boragios, ha-ha, 
I like how you said my name. All right. Well, hopefully I said it as good as it has. And then a bunch of uh, scammers. Hi, scammers. <laughs> Sarah Brino, Sarah Gonkowski, Hannah Megawa. You guys, I'm going to stop right there because Jesus Crow, apparently we got lots of people tonight. But I will come back and I will say hi to you. Don't you worry. Okay. So, first thing that we are going to do, all right, is I'm going to have you guys. Now, this is a deal. We're doing this awesome beer. However, if you guys want to change that background color, you go for it. It's your perfect world. Don't you listen to me because beautiful things happen when you don't listen to me. However, if you want to do the green that we have here, okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you guys grab a brush. And this little sucker is going to be your mixing brush. I'm going to recommend everybody have one mixing brush. And basically what that is, is that's a brush that you little buggers can, you know, it's an old brush, old stinky brush. You're going to use that sucker and that's going to become your permanent mixing brush, okay? You're going to put that with your good stuff. Now, for most people, you've got a very vibrant green. But what we need to do tonight is we're going to make a caca green, okay? Now, this is how we make my caca green, my famous caca green. Is you're going to take the green that you have, all right? And then what you guys are going to do is you're going to add, well, you can either do it that way or you can do it this way. You're going to add about a, a black to it. Okay, now that is a lot of black. I don't know why I was getting so overzealous. But, and then you're going to take that special mixing brush and you are going to tone down that green, okay? So that's going to take a bright, vibrant, neonish green down to a caca green. Or we, we can also call it an army green, a forest green. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so there you go. Now I have my famous caca green. Now if that caca green is a little dark for you, all you got to do is you take a little white, and brrr, add a little white in there and lighten up your caca green. Because basically all we're doing is we're changing the hue of the green. Okay? There you go. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Ooh, yes. Ooh, who's your mama? Okay? So there we go. Perfect. All right. All right. Good deal. Now you can see my head. All right. So... I've got my beautiful caca green ready. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, actually, okay, no, we're not going to name the mixing brush. All right. Everybody is going to grab their big kahuna, okay? The biggest brush you got. And what we're going to name it tonight, I think I'm going to name it, huh? I know what I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it after one of my cool TV shows when I was a kid. Grizzly Adams. <laughs> All right, I'm aging myself, but how many of you guys remember Grizzly Adams? He had a pet bear. He was awesome. I loved him. All right, so every time I say tonight, grab your Grizzly Adams. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Grab it. Grab him hard. <laughs> And what you're going to do with your Grizzly Adams is you're going to do a technique that I call double dipping. All right? Watch this. So we're going to take Grizzly Adams. One side of Grizzly is going to be green, the caca green you just made. The other side of Grizzly is going to be white. Okay? So we have green and white. Green and white. All right? Now. You guys are going to put a line between where your sky stops. Hi, Mary. April Joy, April Joy Purinton. Hi, baby. Mary Kanamiti Dumba. You good girl. Jonica Paul. Oh, I love you, Jonica. How are you, honey? Jonica, Jonica. I wish you would celebrate Hanukkah. 
<laughs> I miss you, Jonica. All right, you guys, so here we go. You guys are going to go up about a fourth of the way, okay? Just a fourth of the way. And we're going to put our horizon line, all right? Look at that. Boom, chakalaka. Just like that. We turned our big old Grizzly Adam sideways. Look at that. Oh, Grizzly. Oh, nice line you got there, mister. Okay? Now, a painting is never finished, you guys, until you paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. Okay? But we never paint our bottom first because you got a sticky bottom. Nobody wants a sticky bottom. Except for me on Wednesday this week. I don't mind a sticky bottom on Wednesday. <laughs> Okay, then what you guys are going to do, you're going to grab your Grizzly Adams, you're going to redap, okay? Some people ask me, what side do I use? It don't matter what side you use, okay? And you're going to take this brush, and we're going to stroke it, just like this, back and forth. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Long strokes from left to right, okay? Until you get that whole top half painted in. All right, watch this. Ooh, ooh, Grizzly. You're doing a great job, Grizzly. Look at that. And what you guys can see is that when we double dip the brush, look at that, okay? It doesn't come out a solid color. That's what we want, you little beautiful people. We want the colors to blend together, to give a little something-something up in that sky. Okay? We don't want one big solid turd color. No, sir, we don't. We want the sky to have more, you know, oomph. All right? We want a little oomph in there. It's 2021. It's time to oomph that sky. Okay? Oomph it. Oomph it. <laughs> And then you guys are going to continue painting until your whole sky is done. I see skies are blue. I see skies are green. That's right, because I ate my green beans. And I think to myself, what a lovely green bean that was. All right, so there we go. Look at that. We've got the whole sky painted, just like that. All right? Does that not look sexy? All right, you can see, almost feel the wind blowing. Look at that. Now, if you guys want to add a little bit of white, oh, you guys also, too, there's a pause feature. All right? So if you guys need to hit the pause button at any time, you feel free. But you are not allowed to pause it when I look like this. Okay? Because I'm very expressive. You're not allowed to pause it when I look like this. None of that, okay? You pause it when I look good. When I look so like, oh, okay? <laughs> all right. And then, all right. So then when you're all finished, what you guys are going to choose to do is, if you want to add more white, add more white. If you want to add more caca green, Add more caca green. If you want to add some yellow to your caca green, look at that. Boom chaka boom chaka. All right, feel free because it's your world. All right, get this sucker as interesting as you want. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come around. We're going to paint the sides. What? Just like this. We're going to paint the top just like this. Boom chucka, boom chucka, double dip that brush, paint the top of your canvas. That way when you guys go to put these in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York, what's going to happen? They're not going to tell you, we can't take that. No siree. All right, I have got to say hi to you people because I need, I need a little love. All right, hold on. I need a little 2021 love. Okay, so there we go. You are all finished when it looks like your version of this, okay? And as I said, you wanna add a little yellow in that sky, you go for it. It's your world, look, there's no right or wrong. Look at that, that makes it look pretty darn sexy, doesn't it? Add a little white in there, boom chakalaka, woo! Okay, add a little white, all right? 
there's nothing you can do that you can't do over. And that's a beautiful part about art. A lot of people get afraid. They get nervous. Oh, my God, I can't do this. You can do this. I believe in you. All right? So there we go. Awesome. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to take grizzly atoms. And we're going to wash them off in the bath water. Because grizzly's been working his, he's been working his petunia off. He's a little, he's a little clapped here. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, you guys are going to wipe off your grizzly atoms so you don't get the dripsies because nobody likes the dripsies. All right, and what you're going to do is, here, I'm going to smooth this out just a little bit, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your clean grizzly atoms. Look, I just put a little green on it. That's okay. And you're going to take the paint that you have on your plate. It's got a little green in it if you double dipped. Okay? Because we don't want straight up white snow. All right? So look at that. We got a tiny bit of green in it. That's okay. I'm going to put white right over it. So I'm going to put a little of white on top of that white and green. And you guys are going to load up Mr. Grizzly. Hello, Grizzly. How you doing? All right. My the music keeps shutting off. Okay. And we're going to go along here. And you guys are going to paint in the entire bottom. Okay? Just like this. There we go. Left to right, long strokes. And you want to make a clean transition line from the sky to the snow. Right? Load that up. Now, the last thing you guys want is white snow. All right? Put a little green in there. Right to right. Give her the green. Give her the corn. Give her the green. Okay? Just like that. Beautiful. All right. There we go. We're going to come around. You send me Nicole. Why do I put white paint on white? Why can't I just leave the canvas? Well, we can't do that. Because, unfortunately, every inch of this canvas, the only rule when it comes to painting is that you can't leave any of the painting unpainted. You know why? Because then you're going to get caught by the paint police. <laughs> but that's the only rule of thumb. You want paint on every inch of this canvas. Okay? So there we go. Now, for you guys at home, if you have a hair dryer, this is the time to get it. I used to do the flap doodle. If you do not have a hair dryer, what you need to do is you need to give this bad boy the flap doodle. Okay, so what the flat doodle does is that allows you to dry off this entire canvas. All right, look at this. Oh, you can get your jig in. Oh, I'm making sure I don't throw on me back. <laughs> okay, this is called swatting the fly. We're going to swat the fly, and the goal is to dry off your entire canvas, okay? Take that canvas, angle it towards the light. Can you see how shiny that is? All right, so you guys need to take away the shine, okay? I'm gonna take my hand dryer. Woo! <laughs> and we're gonna dry off this. And I'm gonna recommend at this point for you guys that are doing these shows, have your hair dryer ready, okay? I used to take the time to work out the flying school, but right now, I've gotten addicted to just drying it this way. It's so much easier. All right, look at that. Boom, chuckalaga. Ah. Okay, okay, we doing it. Perfect. All right. Let's see. Let's angle that puppy. Ooh. See, that's why I got addicted to the hair dryer. It's very nice. 
<laughs> All right, I'm going to take a quick minute to say hi to you guys while you guys are catching up on that drying. Maggie DeGur Carr from Maine. Hi, Maggie. Margaret, I'm sorry, Margaret. Uh, Cricket Arnold. Hello, Cricket. What a nice name, you little Cricket. Chirp, chirp. Um, oh, we got a little scammer there. All right, hello, scammer. You stay away. I can't read you because you are in a different language, but that's all right, my friend. All right, Jessica Cahulda. Ka da Jessica Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I think you guys, I think we had the Olympics there once. Very cool. Oh, another scammer. Let's delete that little sucker. And delete you. All right, Shimmer, Shimmerica Tenors from Louisiana. How is it that this is warm down there? We just had a huge storm. We got snow up here in Maine. Louisiana, I like Louisiana cooking. <laughs> Petty Peabody from East Machias. Oh, you're up, you're up. Oh, actually, no, you're down east. I love that. You guys have great rocks. Uh, Lori Dawson <laughs> You <laughs> back with that fry off meme. <laughs> Happy New Year from Hazleton, Pennsylvania. All right, Dutch country. Jennifer Smith, you did. Jen, Olivia, and Emma Sue from New York. Hi, everybody. Mwah. Happy New York. Tammy Minor Dion. Hi, honey. Oh, we got another little scammer. Let me delete that little sucker. Ah, so I wish I could pronounce the name. I'd tell them where to go. Oh, he isn't on the scammer. Oh, stay away from the scammers, the dirty. Uh, Lilacs, Rishon, hello, first time. That's okay. You came to the right place, baby. Diane Ducat from North Bay, Ontario. Hi, honey. Rhonda Halen from Pikeville, Kentucky. Woo! I like Kentucky. Kentucky for a chicken. <laughs> Wendy Wells, first timer. Great, Wendy. We'll take care of you. Jeanette Lango. Hi, honey. Longo. Longo. Longo it away. Crystal Brown Mork, first time. Super excited from Alberta, Canada. Hi, sweetie. Grace and uh, Net and and Intel. Grace Antel, that's okay, Grace, we got you. Corinne York from Canada, Cricket Arnold, what size canvas? Cricket, what I do, sweetie, is I paint on the 11 by 14 canvases. However, you can use whatever size canvas you need. But the 11 by 14 gives you an idea of the size that we work on. So if you want to do 16 by 20, that's fine. Might take you longer and you may need to use a pause feature. But really, sweetie, it's up to you. You got a wood palette, use that. You know, you've got all you have in your house is painting. Whatever you need, you use, okay? But I paint on an 11 by 14. Driving with Eric. Oh, we got another... Another scammer. All right, you guys, just stay away from those scammers because I don't want them. I don't want them to get any of your credit card information. That's what they're trying to do. They're naughty. All right, these shows I started them because I want you guys to have a great time. Ohio, Debbie Ann, ooh, ooh. Uh, Gloria Moore, first time from Kentucky. Oh my God, you guys, you're all over. I love ya. All right, so next thing I am gonna have you do, okay? Everybody is going to grab their medium brush, all right? Their medium brush, whatever medium brush you guys have. We are going to call this sucker Yogi Bear. Why? Because it's yogi time, okay? This is going to be our little yogi. Every time I say grab your yogi, you grab it, okay? And what we're going to do with this, you've got that white. Remember how I said keep that white handy? We're going to put a little fresh white on our plate. And I'm going to have you guys take a tiny scoop of brown. Okay? Just about that much brown. All right? See that? About that much brown. You're going to add it to this pile of white. And you are going to make a very pale, very light pale, off-white khaki-ish color. Okay? See that? Boom, bada, boom, bada. Just like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, she's so khaki. Oh, oh. She's not khaki. She's khaki. 
<laughs> okay. And what we're going to do with that khaki is everybody is going to take your little Yogi Bear, your medium brush, all right, and you're going to go just like this. Boom, chakalaka. Okay. Now, the reason why I had to do, you do this just a little off-white is because, believe it or not, these birch trees are not white. They're a little off-white in the real world, okay? All right, here we go. Boom! See that? This is my first line. Easy peasy, straight line with my keke. All right? And then what you guys are going to do is you're going to do a second line, just like this, okay? Just like this, parallel to the first one, a little bit to the, I don't know if it's left or right because I'm dyslexic, but you know what, a little bit to the other side, okay? Towards your back. There we go, look at that. Woo! Okay, can you see that? So just two white lines going straight up and down, baby. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn off my music because it keeps coming on and off and it's driving me crazy. All right. Three little jiggins. And maybe I won't get caught by the copyright police. <laughs> I can't help it. Who pays without music? Oh, no. So, You've got your two white lines. You're going to grab Yogi. You're going to give Yogi a bath. And then we are going to grab Grizzly Adams. Grizzly. Big stud. Okay? And what we're going to do with him is you guys are going to grab some of that khaki and watch this. You're just going to take it and you are going to Paint in this tree. Okay, watch that. Yeah, just like this. Boom, bada, boom, bada. Okay, just like that. There we go. Pause you, St. Patrick's Day Radio. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to use that brush, and you're going to do these nice long strokes in the tree. Okay, just like this. All right, and every time you guys use this big brush, or any brush for that matter, what I find is first-timers are a little aggressive with their brush, okay? So what I mean by that is... I don't know why, but they're like, da, 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 and they're very hard on it. And I think probably because you're nervous. That's all right. Nothing wrong with you. You're perfect just the way you are. But what I teach everybody to do is ease up on that brush, okay? Take a deep breath. And what you want to do is kiss the canvas with your brush, okay? We never want to beat the canvas. We never want to torture. Just kiss the canvas. Use that brush to just gently kiss that canvas, okay? And there you have it. Now, if you have a hand dryer, all right, what I'm going to have you do, we're going to take Grizzly Adams, we're going to put him in the bath water, grab that hand dryer, and dry that tree. Okay? Dry him the tree. Dry him the tree. <laughs> Wee wee, I'm drying the tree. <laughs> Do you let me cook and dry in the tree? <laughs> See, in the real world, I get to talk to people. They all know I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. But at home, I just get to look at my pewter. So I get to talk to myself. <laughs> wee wee, I'm dying, my tree. All right, let's see here. Let's delete this scammer. And we have Trisha. What, what happened to you, Trisha? Where'd you go, baby? Where'd you go? Trisha Moreland, Trisha, Gina, and Elliot are all here from Tulsa. 
Tulsa, Oklahoma? Tulsa, where's, where's Tulsa, sweet love? Thank you. You are so welcome, Trisha. Oh, my goodness. You guys are so welcome. I started doing these live shows. I, in the real world, I teach in a bunch of restaurants and everything. And I teach, you know, fundraisers and all that. But um, since quarantine happened and since COVID happened, I started doing these live shows for free. Why? Because I want to make you guys happy. The world's sad. So, you know what? If I can get all you guys, because painting is so so therapeutic. If I can get you guys to paint, God bless you. You know, it's a good time. Here we go. We're going to just keep deleting these scammers here. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Stacy Carlson from Massachusetts. Alice Grandin Ciccone. Paint you use. Also, what color brown is the best? Well, so, um, I have a live video that I did. If you go to my page, you hit videos, it's, it tells you where to purchase all your products, what kind of paint I use, depending on what you have in your local area. You can go to the Walmarts, Michaels, Joanne, uh, Hobby Lobby, right? Whatever it is that you guys want to use, okay? So, um, if you guys are still questioning what to get for paint, Send me a message on my Facebook page. Go to Artful Nights Maine. Send me a message. I'll tell you what paints. I'll send you my video. Okay? So there we go. We've got our first coat on our tree. And now we're going to grab that big old Grizzly Adams. And we're going to come in for coat number two. Okay? So all I want you to do, recoat that tree with your, uh, with your khaki color. Boom, bada, boom. All right? And we want this tree to be nice and wet all right so we're re-wetting it with our second coat okay and then i'm gonna teach you guys how to turn this sucker into a birch tree okay so he's nice and wet and what you guys are going to do next is everybody's going to grab their yogi bear okay their medium brush Medium brush, clean up your lines. So look right here. I went outside the line of that tree. I'm going to use the tip of that medium brush to clean up the lines of my trees. Okay, just like that. Same on the other side. We're going to clean up those lines. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. So we get a nice crisp edge. All right, just in case you went outside the lines. There. Gorgeous. All right. Now, what you guys are not, probably not in Tennessee, but what you're going to find in Maine, Louisiana, is that in the wintertime, our paint dries a little faster. We're using forced hot air, heat, wood stoves. So, their paint might dry a little faster. If that happens, okay, you get a nice film on your paint, all you got to do Grab a couple drops of water and loosen it up. It's acrylic paint. So what you do, you loosen it up and it will, uh, you're going to be all right. Okay. It's water-based paint. So add a couple drops. You don't want it too loose because then you'll get drips. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to have you do, you guys are going to take a little bit of brown. Okay. Move that brown on your plate just like this. And then you're going to grab a little scoop of yellow. A little scoop of yellow. See that yellow? Yeah, there's a the yellow. And I'm going to mix that in with my brown. Okay, so I get this nice, light, soft, I don't even know, mustardy color, just like this. Okay, see that? Grab a tiny bit of that khaki white, put that in there, and boom, it looks like baby. <laughs> I'm stopping myself right there. Okay, see that color? All right, awesome. Now, what you guys are going to do with this color is you're going to use this color to shade in each side of your birch tree. Okay, so this is where that light touch is going to come in handy. I'm going to show you up close. Okay, so up close, you guys can see this tree. Can you see that? Isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah. 
okay? And what this is going to do is this is going to give your tree some depth and dimension. All right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up my uh, Yogi Bear. We're going to load him up with that khaki color. You're going to come into the side of that tree. You put your brush right on the edge. Can you see that? Right on the edge. And you're just lightly going to sweep it like this. See that? On the side. Just like that. Now, if that is too dark for you, grab some more of that khaki or a scoop of white. And you're gently going to pull that white over it. Just like this. Okay? Boom. All right, now it's too light. Okay, so pull that, mix it together, just like that. Okay, can you see that? And that's what it looks like when it's all done. So it's just a gentle swooshy, swooshy, swooshy. And I want to make sure that you guys do not make these swooshies even. Okay? Trees are random, their marks are random, their little tutus are random. So do not make these swooshies even. Some of them are going to be longer, some of them are going to be shorter. Okay? So look at that. Can you see that? Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Okay? Super important. Otherwise, you're going to have a funky looking tree. All right. Now I'm going to grab some more of that mixture. I'm going to move my brush up. Look at this. I'm going to go on the other side just a little bit. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Look at that. Almost like you're flicking a, flicking a fly. Okay, see that? All right. Then move my brush. We'll go up. Boop, boop, boop. Add some to the other side just a little bit. What I don't want you guys to do is make any patterns. All right? Look at that. Boom. Nice. Okay? Add a little white on that brush. Lighten up that color. We can add a little bit down in there. Okay? Look at that. Beautiful. All right? And if you feel like you've made too much, all you got to do is take a little white and reverse paint. Okay, look. Oh, look at that. There goes that blemish. There goes that tree blemish. Okay, you do want to keep these relatively short on the side. You don't want to go more than the halfway point. Okay, and you're going to do this all the way up your tree. So now I'm going to come up. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to make them a little shorter this time so I can make them random. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, look at that. Look at that bad boy. Can you see? Completely random, just beautiful tree markings. That's what we're at. Well, that's what we're aiming for. Okay, I'm going to go on the other side. And none of these lines, okay, none of them are even. They're all uneven. See that? All right, all uneven. Go to the other side. Ooh, ooh. This guy wants to have fun. Okay. Bum bum. Those ones are a little darker. So I'm going to take the paint off my brush. Add a little white right on top. Right on top, you guys. Boom, 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 boom. And pull out these tree markets. See that? Lightens it right up. All right. Now, you guys are going to play with those markings. You're going to get, you're going to dirty up your whole tree. Okay? Not too much. If it's too dark, you guys, lighten her up a little with some white. All right? If, I, if you were in my face, I could see what you were doing. All right? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? And boom, boom, boom. Talk to your tray. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my forest. Okay. Now, don't overthink this, you guys. Basically, we're just adding in these beautiful little things 
so that you can have some marks on that tree, dirty up that tree. When you're all done, stand back, look at it, okay? Add some white in there to pull those marks a little forward. Look at this. Boop, 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 boop. Boom, boom. Why? Because that gives you different shades and different hues. Look at that. Okay? Just like that. Whoa, oh. Okay, nice gentle touch, and I'm just making the swoosh. Swooshing. Who's swooshing? We swooshing. We swooshing, baby. Okay, see that? Swoosh it up. Excellent. Okay. Now, once you guys are all finished with that, okay, you take your time. All right, I'm going to wash this off. Give, I'm going to give Yogi a little bath. I want to get some of that yellow off there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with some white. Pull a little white in some of these. Okay? So you guys can play with these. All right? Just play with it. Okay? Now, once you guys are all finished with that, okay, I am going to take a five-minute halftime. You made the halftime. I mean, not five minutes. Three minutes. Woo! Halftime show! No, I'm just kidding. There's no halftime show. Okay? So I will see you guys in three minutes. All right? I love you, and I'll be back. Okay. Well, wait a second. Let me say hi to a few people, and then we'll go three minutes. Jose, you know, you came back to me, Jose. I love it. Amy Schraub. Clockywitz, first time from Wisconsin, so excited. If I murder your names, okay, do not hold it against me. <laughs> me eyes, me pronunciation, just love me anyway. <laughs> Martha Levac, first time from Litchfield, Maine. Hey, Martha, you're a couple towns over, sweet love. Here we go, we're going to delete the scammer. And, well, geez, look at this. He's, he's a persistent little sucker, isn't he? Goodness. All right. Don't you guys get the skim. Allison Gay. What canvas size do you suggest? Allison, I would say, honey, if you're new to painting, you're just starting out. Get the 11 by 14, hon. Marissa, Marissa Sprague and Why Not Carrie. Is that really your name, Why Not? I don't know. I like it, though. Hi, Steph and Melissa. Happy New Year to you, sweetie. Allison Moeller, love that show. The right, Grizzly Adams. Oh, my God, you're so good. Little House on the Prairie, Grizzly Adams. Give, I think if children today watch that, they'd be better humans. Uh, Gary Wilson Blair, you do? Go on. Marie McDonald, she loved Grizzly Adams. Melissa Kelly, you remember the show? Go on. I love it. Um, Colleen Murphy, Jonica Kapoor, Allison Gay. I'm guessing 9 by 12. No, sweetie, I go for, replying to Cricket, um, 11 by 14, honey. Okay, but 9 by 12 is going to work for you tonight. You use whatever you got, sweet love. Debbie Hendrickson, I know Jonica. Good. Tracy Hollis, you love my energy. I like that. Amy Ladd, you rock. You rock. Uh, Hannah McGower, you colored the bottom part white. The bottom part white. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, sort of. We added a little green to it, but yes. Uh, Pam Kwanyan from Massachusetts, beautiful. Kelly Staples, he had a hard time pulling away. He thinks I'm hysterical. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Denise Violet from New Hampshire, hi, honey. Juan Garcia, will this be up to watch the replay? Yes, sweetie. So you got to like Artful Night's main one. Artful Nights Maine, and this will be on my page, my Facebook page, for one week. And then what we're going to do is, I'm using my halftime to say hi to you guys. How do you like me now? Um, so, uh, basically, um, yeah, so it'll be on there for a week, and then I move it to my YouTube channel, okay, where you can watch it indefinitely forever. Uh, Brenda Paradis, Nicole, will you have this video online for a while? I wanted to do the class tonight, but something came up. That is so okay, Miss Brenda, because absolutely you know the drill, sweetie. 
Grace Antle from Newfoundland, Canada. My parents have a summer home in Newfoundland. I love Newfoundland. Everybody calls you me love, and they're so nice. And they feed us king crab. I love Newfoundland. Kimberly Campolorado from Dallas, Texas. Yeah! Is anything bigger down there in Texas? <laughs> Tracy House, Happy New Year from Ontario, Canada. Hi, sweetie. Uh, Juan Garcia, Pretty Paradise. Us two wondering the same thing. Okay, so now you guys know, okay? Stays on the page for one week, Artful Nights Main Facebook page, and then it goes to Artful Nights Main with Artist Nicole YouTube channel. You can search both of those really easy. It'll pop up for you. Paula Pratt from Turner. Hi, Paula. Marie McDonald Flower. I love the dip dye hair color. Thank you. Well, my hairdresser is the balls. Well, she probably wouldn't like me calling her the balls, but she's the bomb. I love her. She's great. Her name's Margo. She's from Augusta. Oh, she's a good girl. She takes care of me. Juan Garcia. Uh, Alred Rican from Darla in Michigan. Hi, Miss Darla. You make cars in Michigan. Oh, no, you got a big lake. Hi, honey. Vicki Porter from Cutler, Maine. Oh, my gosh, Vicki. I've lived in Maine a long time. Never heard of Cutler. So, you need something to do there. <laughs> Hi, Miss Vicki. Diane Whiting from New Hampshire. Deborah Clilton Locke from East Machias. Great. My beautiful rocks. Anita Robinson. And it's fun to work with. Oh, thank you. Lisa Marie Plasson likes my hair. Thank you. Carrie Wilson Blair, Baltimore, Maryland. Cool. How did you guys all find me this week? This is so beautiful. Um, Ann Dumont. Hi, Ann. Or on canvas paper to make cards. Yeah, Ann, every week she joins our show and she makes these beautiful cards. Uh, Barb Gur uh, Gurley Todd, Huntsville, Ontario. You're so welcome, sweet love. Grace Klutwicks Vin Vanderdeer from Vancouver, Canada. First time. All right. That makes me happy. All right. Once we can travel, I want to come up. All right. You guys will have a show in Canada. Over to Canada. That would be beautiful. A live show. So I can meet you guys. Trisha Moreland. Yes, Oklahoma. Hi, honey. Sarah Burnell. Does a tree go all the way to the bottom? Yes. Okay. That's super important. If your tree does not go all the way to the bottom, you're going to have a floating tree, and it's going to look bizarre. So, yes, honey, absolutely, all the way to the bottom, sweet pig. All right. Michelle Brewer from Connecticut. Pam Conan, first time from Massachusetts. All right, Miss Pam. Ella Hunt Cressy. Hi there. Happy New Year. First time. Pam Conan, Tracy Howes. Pamela Mahama from Trinidad. Whoa! Hey, Pamela, thank you for joining me, sweet love. Uh, Loretta Landway, August, Minnesota. Rob will be replaying this. I can't wait to paint it. Good girl. Lisa Marie Plasman. I like no matter the place, everyone comes together. Just to, me too. Oh my gosh, I feel so much joy. Um, Marie McDonald. Ooh, what salon in Augusta? Augusta, Maine. Her name is Margot. She is a god when it comes to hair. And Loretta Linway August. First time from Michigan. I felt. Oh, let's cancel that so I don't lose you guys. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, that'd be bad. Okay, good. I think I got through all you guys. Yeah. All right. So. I am so glad to meet you guys. Oh, my gosh. So this is your halftime, me talking like a banshee, okay? Usually I walk away. Erica from the Adirondacks, New York. Nice. I used to live down in Westchester, New York. So Adirondacks, cool. That's me. Okay. So um, the other thing that I absolutely love, okay, because of quarantine, you know, uh, it's like I don't get to see you, your person, your face. So, uh Oh, Kim Switzer, Triangandiga, Ontario here. Thanks so much for what you, you are so welcome, my love bug. Thank you for joining me tonight. 
You guys, you're making my heart happy. So, um, since I don't get to see you, okay, one thing, if you would like to, please send me your picture. Send me your picture. You with your picture, but a lot of us have, you know, quarantine hair. I get that. So, send me a picture of your picture. You can send it to artfulnightsmay, my email, artfulnightsmay at gmail.com. Um, and, or you can send your picture to my, uh, Artful Nights main Facebook page where every picture I get, I didn't buy enough white. That's okay, Tira. You know what? You got to get more white, sweet love. Um, every, uh, picture I get, um, I post it on my Facebook page. I write you a little note. I get to know you a tiny little bit better because I can't see your face, okay? I appreciate you so much. I was having a down day and you brightened it up. Oh, good, Melissa. You give yourself a big hug from me. Ready? All right, you guys. We're going to get back to the happy bear, okay? That was your three-minute halftime. If you guys have not liked Artful Nights Main, don't get rooked in with all these scammers, okay? You don't give out credit card information. You don't press on all these links. These are all people that are trying to make money and they're trying to scam the page, all right? You just like Artful Nights Main at Facebook, on, at, on your Facebook page. You hit the play button. That's all you do, okay? Do you, do you lose video? We backed up for a minute. Now it says we're having trouble playing this video. I don't think so. I don't think so, hon. Not that I know of William Atkinson. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I mean, again, anything can happen. I don't think you lose any. Um, but if you are struggling, wait till the end, and then you can do it tomorrow night because uh, it will be on my page. You can hit play and do the whole thing. Okay, but I just won't be live. All right, you'll get the replay. Okay, you guys, now let's get on going. Let's get this little masterpiece complete because I'm talking out my talker. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys took a three-minute break. Made your bladder gladder, grab some wine. There's no play button. That's good to know, honey. That's good to know. I know and when I say play button, what I mean is that little triangle. That's the thing that you hit on the bottom, I think. You hit that and you can move it back and forth. Mm. Hit live. Okay, good to know. You guys take care of me because you know how I am with technology. <laughs> And for those of you that don't know, you soon will. All right. So what we're going to do next with this birch tree, okay, I am going to have everybody grab their tiniest brush, okay, that little detail brush. Now, what we're going to do with that detail brush is, okay, see this? You tie a little detail brush. We got a yogi. We're going to name this one Boo Boo. <laughs> Who remembers a Boo Boo? I do. Okay? So, we're going to call this the Boo Boo tonight. All right? And what I'm going to have you do, when we do any type of trees, we do nature. We do blah, 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 blah. Okay? What I want you guys to do, because the world teaches us to think in patterns. Okay? The world teaches us to think in patterns. That's how our brain works. We get to work at a certain time. We do this at a certain time. Blah, 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 blah. It's an organizational thing, which I don't have, thank God. So, um, artists, okay, random. Nature is random. And what happens is you go out in nature, you feel peace. It's because it takes away all that chaos of your daily life, of all that organization. And blah, blah, blah. So when my first timers, what I tend to find, okay, when you go to paint a tree is you, you tend to do a pattern, all right? But birch trees do not have patterns. They don't follow rules. They don't follow order, all right? They're completely random. Boo -boo, all right. Shannon, Sally, you got a doggy named Boo Boo. All right? So what I want you to notice on this um, is Charlene, Darlene, Percival. All right, you girl. 
okay, is that when we do the lines on our birch tree, they are completely random. There's no patterns here, okay? I'm going to walk you through random because I got a lot of first timers tonight, all right? I'm going to walk you through it. So I've got my little guy. I'm dipping him in the black, okay? All right, there we go. I got my little boo-boo. Yo, yeah, boo boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> okay. And what I'm going to do at the top, what I like to do is I like to take, when I'm doing these birch lines, okay, I like to take my brush and go in an up and down motion. Up and down until I go right off. So watch this. I'm going to take this. There's my line. See that line? That's where I'm going to start. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, okay, until I get a line, all right? So I take my brush and I give it a little wiggle, all right, just like this. And then you ease up, all right? So that's my first line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the other side. And this one's going to be a little longer, okay? I've got my first line. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay? Just like that. All right? And now I'm going to make it a little thicker. So I'm going to come right below. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, There's two. See that? Now, are these perfect lines? No. Perfectly imperfect tree birth mark. All right, birthmarks are not perfect. Wow, except for that Mickey Mouse count. Well, never mind, we won't go there. All right. <laughs> All right, this very famous cow from Whitefield, Maine, and he had a, not many people remember that, but he had a Mickey Mouse on his back and he ended up going to Disney World. Google it, it's crazy. They paid this little farmer from Whitefield, Maine, a million dollars for his Mickey Mouse cow. Can you guys see that? Okay. So what I like to start doing is I like to, are we ignoring the brown? Yes. The brown does not exist, honey. The brown, uh, Susan Gutkowski just asked a question. Are we ignoring the brown? Absolutely. It doesn't exist because it's behind. This is the imperfection behind the tree, so it does not exist. Okay, here we go. We're going to go on the other side. Give a little boop. Okay, the brown doesn't exist, you guys. All right, and you're going to do that throughout your tree. I'm going to leave a great big bunch of space right here. Maybe I'll put another one over here just because I'm feeling like it. All right. Maybe I want it extra thick. Boom. Here's another one. Okay. This is random. Now I used to live with this. Uh, I used to live in Port, downtown Portland, Maine. And there was this artist that lived above me and both made jewelry. She had to take a dice to, in order to make a random necklace, she had to take a dice and roll it. <laughs> she couldn't do it. She just couldn't do it. So, okay, just follow my lead here if you need to. Make that noise. Your lives will come out better because you won't think. Okay? And you're just going to make these random tree patterns. Look at this. Boom. All right? They're completely imperfect. All right? I'm going to add another one on this side. Why? Because I'm feeling like I need to. Okay? And I'm just wiggling that brush. I'm attaching the black. Okay, see that? Boom. All right? Awesome. Okay? Now, wiggle. I'm going to go to the other side. Oh, look at that nice big thick line. Look at that. Boom. And then we go wiggle. Okay, I'm telling you, you think I'm weird. Make those noises, it'll come out better. <laughs> All right, here we go. Other side, just because I'm feeling like it, wiggling my brush, totally random. Look at that. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing all the way down, all the way down to the bottom. There's that. Okay, I'm going to thicken it a little more just because I feel like it. 
okay? And you can even, when you're making these things, okay, you can leave a little white behind them. Why? Because that's what birch trees do, okay? Now, don't give up on me now. You guys hang in there. All right, just like that. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So it's like the, what does a fox say? Just like that. Okay, there you go. Can you see that? Now I have those random black marks on the length of my tree. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that brush. All right, flatten her out, put a little black on it. And here we go. Look at this. Look at that. We're going to put some of that in the middle. Okay? Touch, 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 touch. And basically all that is is a random... Okay? Can you see that? Just like that. If there's another space on my tree that I feel is a little funky and blank. Okay? Here we go. Just tap it out. A little bit in the center. All right? Because birch trees don't just have lines coming out on both sides. They have lines that come all the way through. All right? It's like their birthmarks. Okay? And every tree, well, I'm not going to get into that. Not yet. We'll get into that a little later when we do another birch tree. But for tonight, you just enjoy this one. Okay? Watch this. Look. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, now, maybe I need to tap it. Look this way. Look at that. Okay? Look at that. And there you go, guys. Any space that feels naked or weird, you're just going to tap that brush a little bit. See that? Nice. Okay, and there is my finished birch tree marks right there. Okay, did I ignore the stuff behind? Yeah, I did. But do you see how that makes your 3D tree, your 3D, ooh, ooh, it's popping out at you. Okay, and I am going slow and putting a lot of detail in this tonight because I know I have a lot of first timers and you guys are going to make a beautiful painting. All right, now. What I'm going to have you guys do next is I'm going to have you take this brush, okay? Your little detail brush, your little boo-boo. We are going to wash it off in your water, all right? And then you guys are going to squeeze this out. I'm using a tiny canvas because that's the only thing we had, and it looks so cute. The sky, my kind of color. I love it so much. Yeah! Lisa Plasman. Are we? Yeah. Okay. My granddaughter's nickname is Boo Boo. <laughs> what a night. Okay. Now, what you guys are going to do, once you get this out of the bath water, you are going to squeeze out this detail brush. Look at that nice fine point. Can you guys see that? Okay. Nice fine point. And in order to get a nice thin line, you guys are going to use the gentlest of pressure. Okay, here we go. So you're going to put, you're going to grab some black on the tip of this squeezed out thing and you're going to put a fine black line on the side of that birch tree. A very thin, fine black line. Okay, all the way down. Now in this line, like I said, ease up on that brush. You just want the thinnest of lines, just like that, okay? Just enough to get that tree to pop out at you, okay? A nice thin line. Keep re-dipping your brush as you need to. You guys might need to uh, add a tiny couple drops of water to that black. Keep her nice and loose. All right, there we go. There's one side of my tree. Okay, now I'm going to add a thin line, black line, to the other side of my tree. Okay, just the very outline, very thin black line. Just like that, all the way down. 
keep going all the way down. Notice how I keep dipping and re-dipping. And when my brush misses a spot, that's okay. All right, you guys don't need a solid line. Very thin line. Like I said, to me, the most important brush you can have in your arsenal is a good detail brush. Okay, just like this. Just for this reason. You need a good boo-boo. Get a good boo-boo. Nice boo-boo. Nice thin boo-boo. Okay? And there you go. And now, what we're going to do next, we are going to grab that boo-boo again because we need to add the little branches of that tree. Okay? When did she do the tree? I seem to have missed it. Donna Bird. I don't know, sweetie. Um, you know, during the show, um, if you are missing parts, what you can do, Miss Donna, wait till the end, and it will be on my Facebook page, and you just try it then, okay, honey? Because if it's missing parts, um, I don't know why. Technology is not my friend. All right. So, here we go. Now that we've done the tree, okay, what we're going to do over here is I'm going to have you guys do a nice black line. See that? Right outside that tree. Because we got to sprout out some branches. All right? And same like we did this, okay? I'm going to have you guys... Wiggle out. These branches are not uh, straight. So I'm going to have you wiggle out a nice line just like that. Look at that. Okay? That's going to be your main vein, your branch. And it's just a nice, fun, wiggly line. All right? And then what you're going to do, you're going to start about three quarters of the way, and you're going to go back over the line you already made. And you're going to thicken it up. Because every time a tree branch comes from a tree, all right, it's thicker the closer it gets to the, uh, to the tree. See that? Boom! Look at that. That's right. Okay? And then what you guys are going to do, I got that, I got that one done. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to pull a little little sprout right off this one. Look at that. See that? We go V it out. And then again, we're going to go three quarters of the way. We'll attach that branch to the main vein then, to the main branch. All right. We're going to add another one. Another sprout right off this sucker. Boom. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, see that? Yeah. Nice, okay? And once you guys are all done with that, what you're going to do, take this brush, okay? And you're going to put these little doodups on either side of those branches. I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. Okay? So basically, you're just adding little sprouts out of each branch. See that? Tiny little sprouts. Okay, whoop, 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 here we go, edgy sprouts, edgy sprouts, see that, yeah baby, now if we did it there, we're going to do it here too, look at that, sprouting it out, sprouting it out, that's right, everybody likes a nice sprout, okay, all right, not too, don't go too cray-cray with the sprouts. Just add little sprouts, okay? Just little sprouts. We want this just to, there we go. Ooh, sprout, sprout there. See that? And there, there's your first tree branch. How do you guys feel? You're feeling pretty good out there, aren't ya? Yes, you are. All right, now, what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to come down, down here, okay, right here. We're going to add another little thing because these branches are attached to the side of the tree. So can you see that? Looks like a little brown turd, <laughs> a little black turd, okay? So you're going to do that, and then this little guy, oh, he's going to go up. 
He's going to go up. You know why? Because it's called photosynthesis. He's gearing up towards that sun. See that? Straight up. He's a little shorter than his friend. I'm going to go three quarters of the way. Thicken up that branch, that little wiggly twiggly branch, just like that. And then I'm going to give him a little V. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada. Okay, thicken it wrap, just like that. Look at that. Not bad. And then I'm going to give him the little doot doots. Doot, doot. With the tip of my brush. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, just a few of these on either side. See that? There we go. You guys are rocking this tonight. I can feel it. I can feel it across my new pewter. You're rocking out this tray. Look at that. Excellent. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put on the bottom, we're going to put a tiny little branch. See this guy right here? All right. Now, does this one get a black line? No. And you know why? Because remember how we did that black line close to the tree? Well, this one doesn't get that because it's coming from the back of the tree. Okay? Because trees go all the way around. So all we're going to do is we're going to add, see that? There's that branch. He's going to be just a little guy. Okay? And we're going to wiggle it this way and this way. Maybe a little bit this way. See that? Ooh, there's a little guy, okay? Now this little donut, he looks a little odd, so I'm going to have to clean him up. So he's driving me crazy. There we go. All right, beautiful. Okay, now that you've done that, we're going to move to the other side of the tree. All right, and let me show you what the other side of the tree gets. The other side of the tree gets just these tiny little duggins, just like you just did. Okay, one, two, there we go. Tiny little duggins. So we're gonna come here on the other side. We're gonna go whoop. All right, look at that. Here's the other side, and then from there, we'll add a few of these little boogers coming off that tree. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to thicken it up a little bit so it doesn't look too bizarre. Look at that. Oh, yeah. She's good. All right. And we're going to give that. Whoop, whoop, I forgot to add the little doodups at the end. Sorry about that. See those little doodups down there? Now we're going to give this little guy some doodups. Doop, doop. Doop. Doop, doop. Okay, a little. Doodups on the tree. That is what makes a branch, gives a branch a little something, something. And then we're going to go, and we're going to add another branch down there. Look at that. Yes, sir. Give her another branch. Yep. And at this point, you guys can add as many or as few of those little boogers are off there as makes your heart happy. Boop. Boop, add those little boop boops at the end. Boop, whoop, meow. Okay, see that? There we go. And guess what, you guys? You have almost finished your first birch tree. Pat yourself on the back. Good job. Okay, I'm going to have you wash this brush off. Okay. Wash off your little bee tail brush. Wash her off. Boom, 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 boom. And you're going to take your detail brush. You're going to add a, your little bubble. You're going to add a little bit of white to it. Okay, I got some white on my bubble. And then on these bigger branches, okay, on the top of that branch, you are going to add just a little bit of white to highlight the top of that branch. Can you see that? Not the whole thing. 
just a little bit in the top. Okay, because as you know, the bigger the branch gets, the more they hold that white pigment of the tree. See that? Just a little bit. You guys can do that. Okay, just little touches. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing with this guy right here because he's thick too. So we're going to add a little bit of white. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and there you go. Look at that. How beautiful is that, you guys? And now you have finished your first birch tree. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> Good job. Woo-wee. Okay. Now, what we are going to do next is... Everybody's going to take that detail brush, okay? Your tiny little bibu. You're going to squeeze out the end so you get a nice fine point. And you're going to gently put a nice tiny line along that horizon line. Can you guys see that? So between your snow and your sky. Now, this line does not have to be a perfectly straight line in this picture. Can you see that? There's little breaks in it. It is not perfect, and that's exactly how we want it. Okay? Just a tiny little indicator that there's difference between the sky and the snow. All right? Can you see that? Boom. Good job. Okay, now we've got our tree done, we've got our horizon done, we've got a sky done, we got that. Now we gotta draw a bear, okay? And no worries, take a deep breath. We're gonna get right through it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a winter bear, all right? So, the first thing that we're gonna do, okay? And I hope everybody's ready. If not, hit pause. First thing we're gonna do. You guys are gonna grab your detail brush, okay? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give you a chance to finish up those few things. You feel like an artist, Hannah Mogawer! Yay! Bridget Holmes from Eastport, Maine. Bridget, how you doing, girl? So much fun, says Sheila Wardy. I love it. I love it. I love it, Tercy. My tree ended up looking a bit spawned like a spotted giraffe. It's a learning. You're right, honey. And guess what? It Nothing is perfect. You know what, girl? Perfectly imperfect. That's what we aim for. That's what makes this world a beautiful place. Okay, sweetie? You'll get it the next time. Um, no worries. You can always go in, add a little white in there, and cover up some of those lines if you need to. That's okay, sweet love. Uh, Lisa Marie Plasman. I'm using it to, okay, good, 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 good. And Hannah feels like an artist. I love that. Muggawar, Muggaw, Muggawar. Hannah Muggawar. All right. You are an artist, honey. Don't you feel like it? You are an artist. You tell yourself, I'm an artist. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. I'm going to wait till those numbers come up. We're going to start the band. Okay. Because I know you guys are probably probably finishing up your birch trees. Mm. And I'm drinking my muggle air juice. All right. Now, for your bear, for your grizzly, okay? We are going to use, we're going to start off using our detail brush because what I'd like to do is I'd like to take you step by step, okay, how to draw a bear just by using shapes, all right? So here we go. First thing you guys are going to do, you load up your uh, boo -boo with black paint, okay? Now once you go, once you've, you've You've got the black on the canvas. It's hard to cover it up, but that's all right. We got you, okay? So black paint. And what you guys are going to do is you are going to draw a large dinosaur egg. What? Yep, a dinosaur egg. All right, here we go. We're going to start here. And we're going to come down into the snow. 
All right, dinosaur egg's gonna go up a little bit because he's got a big butt. And we're coming down into the snow and I will show you this when we are all done, okay? There we go. Here's a dinosaur egg. Okay? Boom. There you go. There's your dinosaur egg. It goes up into the sky and down into the snow. Just a big old dino egg, you guys. Or a zygote. It's a zygote. <laughs> okay, that's step one. Step two is you guys are going to come right off the back of this line, okay? And you're going to go down. Hold on, I'll show you what it looks like when you're all done. Down. And just like this, okay? There's number two. Not that kind of number two, you guys. Okay, here we go. There's number two, okay? I'm going to straighten this up. Hardest thing I could have to do is straighten up this canvas, all right? So there you go. And if you guys don't realize, I'm a wiggle. So just like that, you guys. Okay? Make sure this comes right off the back of your dinosaur egg. All right? There's number two. Now, number three, we're going to come right in this dinosaur egg, and we're going to go, blah, 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 blah. and, blah, 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 blah. actually, we're going to start it right there, blah, 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 and there we go, okay, you want this a little bit thicker, because this represents your, your two, well, it represents probably two legs, okay? So hold on, a little bit thicker. There we go. There's number two, okay? You can notice that I started number two on several occasions. <laughs> there you go, just like that. Okay? So you got your dinosaur egg, and then you have those two shapes, just like that. And trust the process, okay? Don't you worry. I'm going to get you through this. All right. Now, what you need to do next is we're going to come up from our dinosaur egg. Just like that. And off the back, off the front of our dinosaur egg, we are going to give this just a tiny hump, just like this. Okay, so we've got our dinosaur egg, tiny hump, and up like that. Can you see that? There you go. So you're going to add a tiny hump, and then you're going to come off the front of your dinosaur egg, and you're going to add a line that goes straight up towards the sky. Okay? Just like that. And then, what you're going to do, okay, yeah, I'll show you again. That's his neck, and that's his back hump. Okay, see that? Just like that. Okay? And then what you're going to do is... You're going to come down. We're going to bring this down here. Boop. And we're going to bring this over here. And then put a little thing on the bottom. So there's that. Can you see that? Now what this is, is this is a grizzly bear walking in the snow. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. All right, and I might just thicken this up just a little bit. 
down from his neck, okay? So all I did was I added a little more to that front leg. I don't want him to have a, I don't want him to have a stimpy, limpy leg, okay? So just add a little bit more to that front leg, okay? Now, for the head, what you guys are going to do is we start here. We're going to bring this out like this. Boom. Bring it out like this. Okay. Bring it out like this. On the bottom, we are going to put another hump on the top, but this hump is going to go up like this. And then you guys are going to go, oh, okay, so see this? There we go. Another hump off that hump that goes straight up. And then this one is going to take a turn and go straight out just like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do, we're going to give this bear some ears. So we've got one ear, and we've got a second ear that comes out just like this. Okay, one ear and then a second ear. All right. One ear and then a second ear, right off that weird wacky hump, okay? And then we come down. That's when we come down, like this. We're going to come down. We're going to come in. And you guys are going to go just like this. See that? So you come down off those two ears. You're going to do an indentation and you're going to connect it to that bottom line. See that? You notice I got all serious when we were doing some bear. All right. You guys, now that you have that shape, this thing should look like who did it and ran. What, Nicole? That doesn't look like a bear. Okay, trust the process. You've got it all carved out, all right? Now you're going to put down your little detail brush. Okay, you're going to grab Yogi Bear, my little Yogi. Yogi, Yogi, Yogi. Grab some black on that brush. And here we go. You're going to paint in this entire bear in black with my little yogi brush okay see that the whole thing in black look at that boom okay paint him in give him the paint give him the paint everybody the drawing part's done okay now give it the paint There we go. See that? Painting them all in. Painting in his legs. Painting in his little silly paws. Painting in his buttocks. Painting in his little berry neck. Alright. Painting her all in. Now feel free to wiggle out your brush on the edges, okay? Like his butt. Wiggle it a little. Why? Because he's a fuzzy bear. Okay? Wiggle it in as you paint it in. Nothing wrong with that. All right? Just a little bit. All right? See that? Give it the wiggle. Now you guys are going to come in. You're painting those ears. Whoop, whoop. But Nicole, I can't tell one ear from the other. That's all right. We got a trick for that. Okay. Painting in the face. 
all of my bear. He was a hairy bear. He was a scary bear. Oh, your little scary hairy bear. <laughs> okay. Mom. Oh, don't scare me. Oh, I'm on my way to Goldilocks. Oh, what you gonna do at Goldilocks' house? I'm gonna eat a porridge. <laughs> or you can make a narrative. I'm on my way to visit my friend. Grizzly Adams. Yes, sir, Ray. <laughs> he gonna definitely give me some porridge. Okay, good. All right. Painting this whole thing. Oh, nice and da 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 da. Okay, paint her in. Look at that. Oh, you little sexy grizzly bear. Okay, and when you are all finished, you should have uh, something that looks just like your version of this grizzly. Now, when I look at my grizzly, okay, this is what I think. I think, geez, Louise, he's a little skinny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little more girth underneath here, okay? But, Nicole, his legs are stumpy. They're stumpy because he's walking in the snow, okay? That's why he's got stump legs. So, and I'm going to add a little bit more to this buttocks. Okay, I'm going to wiggle out a little more in the buttocks and then smooth it out on this back leg. Okay, this is where you add your little touches. All right, there we go. There, yeah, look at that. Okay, there we go. Boom! Oh, I love you, Mr. Grizzly. Well, I love you too. Okay, see that? Now, bet your grizzly's all done. Not done, but he's shaped out. We're going to take our medium brush, throw it in the bath water, okay? And we're going to grab our little detail again. Grab our little boo-boo. Make sure our boo-boo is nice and clean, okay? We don't want any black on our boo-boo. And what you guys are going to do is you are going to take... A little bit of brown, okay, on your plate. See, you've got some brown. You're going to take a little brown, and you're going to add a little yellow to it, okay? Just a little bit. Go lighten up that brown. Make it a little mustardy. Grab a little white. Well, that's too much white. A little bit more brown. A little bit of yellow. Okay, because we're going to make his little snuffleupagus nose. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to come down and you're just going to tap in this little grizzly nose. Okay, look at this. Not tap in. You're going to paint in. I'm sorry. There we go. Little grizzly nose, just like this. All right. Just like that. Can you see that? Whoop. There we go. There's the grizzly nose. But Nicole, it doesn't have a nose. All right. Okay, and then you're going to clean off the detail brush. Grab a tiny bit of black on that detail brush. Okay, and then you're going to paint in his little nose, just like this. Du, 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 du. Looks just like a little... Yeah. Hmm. Just like a little square. Okay, see that? There's his nose. And very carefully, you're going to add a little line to the end of his nose. Okay, see that? Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Nice. Okay. 
okay now what I'm gonna have you guys do next you got this grizzly all carved out okay well Nicole how do we make this grizzly how do we make it okay so here we go actually I want to add a little bit more there too so what I just did you guys is I noticed my neck was a little thin so I just added a little bit more there okay and that's okay you guys can do this it's your bear all right good okay now what I'm gonna have you guys do next is we're gonna take because generally when you take that medium brush and you um and you see how wet my bear is I'm gonna take the hair dryer to the bear now you guys at home if you don't have a hair dryer <laughs> I'm so glad on me. And you don't have a hand dryer, make sure you give it the flap noodle because we're going to dry it off. Okay? Dry them off. white on that detail brush all right let's put a little white on there and you're going to do two things you're going to put a little tiny white line in between the ears now when I say tiny I mean tiny see that tiny white line in between the ears and then you're going to put another white line that goes across his chest to this leg, okay? I'm just going to wiggle out a fine white line right there, okay? Can you guys see that? Oh, look at that. Yes, yeah. Okay, look at that, Mr. Bear. You're awful cunning. Okay, now. What we're going to do next is everybody's going to grab their yogi brush, your medium brush, okay? And what I'm going to have you do is you're going to turn yogi into a woodpecker, okay? I'm not going to say the other thing because there might be children out there. Woodpecker. What's a woodpecker do? Okay? That's for the motion for your brush. You're going to grab a little bit of white on your woodpecker, okay? And if your white is getting funky, grab a little paint water, add it to the thing, all right? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay? There we go. Add a little white. Uh, I got a little gray in mine. I don't want that. Okay. So... I'm going to add some fresh white onto my paint plate. Okay, I don't want any gray in my white. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to put some white on the end of your medium brush. You're going to tap, tap, tap on your plate to get some of that paint off the brush. And right at the base of his feet, each foot, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take that woodpecker and look at that. Can you see that? So it looks like he's walking in the snow. Okay, there's one foot. Boom. You're going to come up. Okay. There we go. Here, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more weight on this one. Okay. So that way, those stumpy little legs are actually buried in the snow. Okay. That's because he's a winter bear. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the same thing on this front leg. Okay, boom. All right, mine wasn't quite dry. If it's not quite dry, you're going to get a little gray in it. That's all right. Just light touch. Okay, boom. All right, look at that. Look at that little cruncher. Cruncher munch. That bear's in the snow. Isn't he awesome? 
I do love this painting, so, okay. And once you get that done, guess what? Your winter bear is finished. But we're not finished yet with the painting. We'll give a little more, okay? So remember how I told you to use some blue, okay? You are going to take some white paint, some clean white paint, mix it in with that blue until you get a very light blue, just like this. Don't mix it all the way, though. We just want to just give it a little here. See that? Look at that. Marbleize it. Don't mix it, okay? See that blue? Blah, 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 blah. See that? Okay. Going to take my little yogi. And underneath my bear's feet, okay? I'm going to take my brush. I'm using it like this, which is um, horizontally, okay? Just like that. And just very carefully, I'm just going to come in and look at this. We're swoopy dooping, okay? There's my first swoopy doop. See that? All right. Then I'm going to wipe off this brush on my paper towel. Grab a little bit more of that clean white paint, and then I'm going to swoopy doop a little more, pulling that blue down. Look at that. Ooh, see that? A little bit of white. Look at that. Pulling that blue perfectly imperfect, but what it does is it creates a little shadow under that crunch of munch. See that? Got a little bit of shadow. Okay, look at that. You can even mess it up a little. Look. Doesn't matter. Wiggle that brush. Mess it up. Okay, now you got a little bear shadow. Because your bear's being followed by a moon shadow. <laughs> moon shadow, moon shadow. <laughs> okay, do you guys see that? Looks like I need a little bit more over here. All right, and all I'm doing is I'm just sweeping that paint in there. Grabbing a little white, sweeping a little more so that it's not all blue. Okay, there's your bear shadow. Now, guess what? You've just finished your bear. You've finished your uh, birch tree. He's perfectly perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun. Because if you guys notice, not that you haven't already had fun, because I know you have, but can you see all of this? All this little stuff. This is called splatter painting. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, splatter. Where'd that hand come from? <laughs> we are going to splatter paint this sucker. All right, I'm going to teach you guys how to have fun. Okay, so in order to splatter paint, you guys are going to take a fresh paint plate. Okay? And on that paint plate, look at this. Fresh paint plate. Ooh, and on that paint plate, you guys are going to add about that much white. Not even, that's way too much actually. So you don't even need that much. That's too much. Add about a quarter of a teaspoon of white. Okay? And then, if you do not have clean water, you're going to get up and get some clean paint water. Okay? So. I talk during halftime, so I don't have clean paint water. I'm going to get some clean paint water. I'll be right back. What you guys are going to do, you're going to take your medium brush or your mixing brush, okay? You're going to add a tiny bit, like about four drops of water. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay? That may actually be a little too much. Okay, let's see here. Can I see it? There we go. So I've added, yeah, that's too much. Hold on. I've added about a quarter of a teaspoon of water to this white paint, and I'm going to take this mixing brush, and I'm going to mix it up, okay, until 
my paint is about the consistency of milk, thick milk. All right, we're going to say thick milk, okay? You don't want it too thin because your paint will drip. All right, but you want it to be about like this. See that? See that? Okay? You don't want it to drip. All right, so pull in all that white paint, okay? And you want about the, the yeah, about a little bit, a tiny bit thicker than milk. Not much tiny, not much thicker than milk, but a tiny bit thicker than milk. All right, new computer, I've already painted it. I love it. <laughs> okay, and then what you're going to do is... Oh, Jennifer, good. This is my first painting of you. Made me feel, oh, I'm so happy. Sherry Darlene Percival, I am so happy, honey. That makes my heart happy. Okay, so what we do is, you guys, okay, grab your big old brush. We're going to grab our Grizzly Adams. Dry him all off, okay? Dry off our grizzly. Oh, lost one. Ugh. Little escapee down there. Okay, so we're drying off our grizzly. All right, now you're going to fluff it out a little. Fluff it out. Now, do you guys remember how, when you were a little kid, you used to take your toothbrush and torture your younger sibling with it? Okay, we took that toothbrush, right? We loaded her up with water and toothpaste, and you're like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Woo, excuse me. Or maybe just in my house. I don't know. I'm weird. So, right? Ready? Well, this is how we splatter paint. It's the same concept. And you can also do this with a toothbrush, okay? Or your large brush. But what I do recommend is if, if this is your first time splatter painting, if you have a paper to a uh, um, uh, tablecloth down, okay? Practice this on your tablecloth before your canvas because when, if you do this wrong, you don't want to ruin all that hard work you've done, okay? So here we go. I am going to take my wet white, all right? And I'm going to try to do this showing you. Usually I have to sit this down to do it, but I am going to try to do it live because you guys are so new at this, all right? I've loaded up that brush with white, okay? with my splatter paint white. Now I take my finger and there we go. Okay, can you see that? All right, I'm loading her up again. This is a two-handed process, but I'm doing it with one hand just to show you guys. Okay, all right, there we go. And you're gonna continue that process all over your painting okay now if you get big drips it means that you've added too much water okay and if you get big drips immediately well don't immediately but to dry your paint lay it flat because you want those big drips to lie flat you don't want them to roll down the paint okay so i'm going to grab a little more here boom boom we're going to go all around Boom, oh yeah, oh boom. We making it, so this is like the one finger splatter paint, you guys, I've never done this before. I usually use a couple fingers. All over, get her all over. You add as much of that paint or as little as makes your heart happy. If your loved one is sitting across from you across the table, this is a messy process. So make sure you try to lay it flat down while you do this, okay? Lay it flat so you don't squirt your loved one in the face and you don't get your paint everywhere, all right? Or maybe you want to squirt your loved one in the face. That's okay. That's kind of fun, too. <laughs> That's an interlude for a good time. <laughs> Okay, so we're splattering, we're splattering, we're splattering all over. Actually, I think I even got it on my face because I think it's coming backwards. Okay, boom, just like that. Okay, and you add as much or as little of that beautiful splatter as makes your heart happy. I am going to sit it down just to add a few finishing touches. Okay. There we go. Ooh! Oh, she's messy, all right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Woo! <laughs> okay, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And when you are done with 
your splatter and your fingers look like this. You are completely finished with your winter bear. Woohoo! Make sure that you guys add your famous artist signature in the lower left or right hand corner. Okay, grab your little detail brush. Come up with your famous artist signature, whatever that might be. All right, this is mine. I'll show you. I'll give you a little toot of my little famous artist signature. Okay, right down here, I put my initials. Rule of thumb, you never want the signature to overpower the painting, okay? You want someone to be so drawn into that painting that they absolutely, oh, I love you too, Nancy Hogue. Had a blast, yeah! Um, you wanted to be drawn into that painting, and then they have to look and see who did it. Okay, you guys. Oh, looks like I gotta clean up the kitchen. <laughs> we got oil splatter all over the walls. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I didn't show you. Next week, next Sunday, every Sunday I do these. Hmm, where'd my phone go? So next Sunday, we are doing... You guys probably know better than I do. I don't have a clue. What are we doing next Sunday? Um, we are doing... Patricia Boisson. We are doing next Sunday. What are we doing? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, we are doing... Well, it's not coming up. Anyways, you guys, go to Artful Nights, Maine. Look at what we're doing next Sunday. Every Sunday night at 7 o'clock, we have a different painting. And um, thank you guys for joining me. I love you. I'll see you next Sunday. Don't forget to send me your pictures. 